When I'm speaking to groups about cancer, one of the first things I want to impress upon them is how common cancer is. So I often have them look to their left and look to their right, and I tell them one of the three of them is going to get cancer in their lifetime. There aren't many more words more devastating than hearing, you have cancer. You're struck with a lot of fear about um, how I'll take care of my kids, how I'll take care of my wife, um, will I be out of work for a while, am I going to survive this? Not in that order, um, but after a few uh, months, um, you kind of come to grips with the diagnosis. We owe it to ourselves, to our families, to our communities to be able to provide this service locally where people don't have to worry about travel worry about being with strangers. They can be here and be supported by the people that love and care about them. Well, I think the new cancer center has obviously been in need for a great deal of time and our population of cancer patients is not small by any means. Um, I think for the patients in the communities all around us, we definitely need that. It has everything a patient needs. You want to be able to stay home and get your care. You want to be able to get state-of-the-art care. Um, have, have outstanding medical staff, uh, outstanding support staff, and, and be in your own home when you're, when you're having treatment. Uh, I think that's one of the most important things about this new facility is what it offers for our patients. Building the new cancer center is very important for the Auburn Opelika community. We are at full capacity in our present facility and with our population growing and aging we anticipate a significant increase in the number of cancer patients we will be treating. Therefore, I encourage you to support us in this endeavor. No one really wants to go through the, the treatments. They can be uh, very hard on the patients, but we, we've got some nice features in this facility that will uh, help alleviate uh, some of the concern, some of the pain, and we hope it'll be a respite. So. Uh, patients and their families can come and get uh, world-class treatment here in Lee County, Alabama. You may ask yourself, why should I give to the Cancer Center campaign as an employee? I'd like for you to take a moment and think of someone right now that's been affected by cancer. Um, your family, your friend, and think of the great care that you want them to have. We're blessed to have that great care here. As an employee, it's not just where we work, it is where we get our health care. It's personal. It's important that our EAMC employees give to this cancer center. I'm passionate about this because I have been impacted by cancer and I'm sure all of us may have or will be impacted by cancer. So it's be a nice environment for our family members to be treated. So we all need to give because it's our opportunity to have a wonderful place for our, our family to come and receive care, not have to travel, and by giving, we can make this happen. I could have gone anywhere, and people ask, are you gonna go to John Hopkins? Are you gonna go to the Mayo Clinic? And I was like, no, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna stay at home, because it's us right here. It's our hospital. It's our hospital! It's our It's our cancer center. It's our cancer center. It's our cancer center. It's our cancer center. It's us. It's our community. It's our community. It's our family. It's our family. It's our hospital. It's our cancer center. It's us. It's us. It's our family.